Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Hermela, and if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Today, I have an exciting video for you guys. I'll be doing a weekly vlog. Um, I'm actually starting the week off in Seattle. Morton and I just got here on Sunday. He had a work trip, so I thought I'd go ahead and tag along and explore Seattle since I've never been here before. We arrived Sunday, and today is Tuesday, and so we took the first two days to kind of explore, see around, and I kind of didn't want to bring my camera. I just wanted to be present and enjoy the moment, but we went to Pike Place Market um, What else did we do? We I went to the Space Needle while he was at work yesterday. That was amazing I'm a huge Grey's Anatomy's fan and I loved it. Actually. I thought I was honestly Living the life through Grey and Christina and Alex Karev. Let me know if you guys are fans of Grey's Anatomy down below uh, today is Tuesday and I have something exciting. I will be doing a photo shoot with a local photographer. I'll have all information all of her information down below. Her name is Haley and I'm meeting up with her around 11 and it's 10.30. It's this gorgeous studio space that you can rent out. It's called North Light Studio. So if you're from this area, go ahead and check them out. Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me and show you exactly what we shoot and stuff that we create. I'm so excited. I've never met her before. I just found her on Instagram and I loved her work. So I reached out and now we are doing the thing today. So yeah, it is a crazy week. I go back tomorrow and Morton stays until Friday. So my flight is at 8 a.m. and then I should get back by 4 and pick up Bella and be back home so I'll continue the vlog back in Virginia but enough talking I gotta finish packing get everything together and take you guys with me so let's get the day started while we were at Pike Place Market on Sunday when we first arrived um, they have immaculate gorgeous flowers that are like 20 bucks and they're all local uh, flower farmers or I, I might be saying that wrong but they were stunning I had to buy it and hopefully use it today um, during the photo shoot so I have to take that with me I had to use the ice bucket for a vase because I didn't have anything to put the water in but so far they're still doing good I have all of my stuff packed here that I'm taking with me I'm not sure exactly what I will be shooting but I did a little bit of shopping yesterday at Zara and picked up some things that I wanted to take with me today I also have my bag here that I recently purchased from this brand called called Brevit? Brevite? I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's amazing. I can carry all of my cameras in here, um, and it's amazing. It has so many pockets. I even have a pocket in here for anything extra that I want to take. Um, essentially, it's like the ultimate backpack, and so I will be taking this with me because I have booked an extra hour to create some content by myself as well. So we're staying at the Hyatt Place right in downtown Seattle and we literally have the view of the Space Needle right there so that's what I was doing yesterday. It's pretty gloomy, they say this is pretty typical for November but actually when we arrived on Sunday it was sunny and gorgeous and the weather was perfect. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing to head to the studio. I have my chunky sneakers from Naked. If you guys get these I highly recommend sizing up. They're a bit narrow and small, so they can be uncomfortable for long walks. And then I have my Adidas socks on. I just bought these leggings from Zara yesterday. Super comfortable. And next I have my white shirt from Naked also. And my trench coat from Mango. So, let's go. <laughs> I just arrived. I'm waiting for Hallie to get here as well. This is the space and I wish we had something like this in DC. I still have my mask on so I didn't know if you could hear me but there is just so much light that pours into here. And so I'll have this for the next two hours. I'm so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see all the photos we shoot and it's right in downtown Seattle. Meet Hallie. Hi. 
<laughs> we just finished wrapping up and Hallie is a local photographer. Photographer in Seattle. I'd love to travel though. <laughs> yes, so I will have all of her information down below. This is the space I showed you guys earlier. Um, it was absolutely successful. Hands down, probably the best experience ever. Oh I swear, and I'm so happy I found you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably wrap up, and yeah, thanks so much. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Hey guys, today is Thursday. Um, yesterday I traveled back from Seattle and now I'm back in Virginia, back at home. Um, I had to kind of get some rest yesterday, which is why I didn't feel like vlogging. Um, nothing special happened, got home around 5.30, picked up Bella, and then started to unpack a little and watch some TV. I'm currently obsessed with Downton Abbey and I can't stop watching it. I'm pro I think I'm on season two. Um, I think I'm about to finish season two actually. Uh, today is kind of a house cleaning catch up, run some errands. I have to return a package um, at the UPS store, water some of my plants that I've neglected, and just kind of catch up on some things that are outstanding and maybe do my hair. Um, I just don't feel like doing it today. Maybe I'll do like a mask, uh, we shall see. I'm sure a lot of you guys know I love, love, love plants. Um, my pothos has a mind of her own, which I love, and I'll probably propagate her. Um, this is what I propagated from her about a month ago, and she's thriving. I think I even have a new leaf finally coming in right there. So super successful, and I think I'm just going to do it again. This one needs some little love. Um, she requires lots of water, and I tend to forget, even though I try to put like a reminder. So she's probably hating me right now. And then I finally watered my snake, which doesn't need much water now that we're going into the fall winter time. And so I pulled these pothos from up there. They live up there. So my birthday is in December and my aunt got me these shoes that I've been wanting. Um, I know it's super early but she just wanted to make sure that it fit me because the sizing on the website was super off compared to the reviews. So these are the New Balance 574 I believe and I love them. They're like the perfect fall shoe and I actually sized up by half a size and I tried them on and they're still a little bit too snug on my toes at the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and return these today. I just love the color. The, I don't know, I just love the silhouette too. I have kind of big feet. I don't know if nine is average, but I'm normally a nine, but I'm gonna have to size up to a 10. And somehow when you wear them, they actually make my feet look smaller, which I love when shoes do that. So I will be getting this in a different size. If you guys are out there, either size up by half a size or a full size, I'm not sure, it's a little tricky. Hello, mama. Hello, mama. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Yeah, feels good, huh? Back from grocery shopping, just do a little tiny grocery haul. I picked up some very random things, but I finally am trying out um, the truff line. So I got the pasta sauce and the mayonnaise. I haven't had them before, um, and I'm very excited because I've heard really good reviews. And then, so just some snacks. Um, I'm planning to make my Mediterranean orzo salad, and then I got some bagels for breakfast, cream cheese, some parsley. Also, Morton and I had this when we were in Utah, and we became obsessed, and I finally found a place that had this flavor, the pomegranate peach passion white tea. Highly recommend, super yummy, and I'm just making a bagel for breakfast, super late breakfast, but I'm back. <laughs> We're gonna go play some soccer on the field, get her moving. Um, she needs a lot of exercise, and her favorite thing is to play with soccer balls. Somebody already found a ball and is ready to go. Excuse me. Where did you find that one? We have to put it in the bag. Why are you walking away? Can I have? Can I have? <laughs> Can I have? <laughs> Just 
just got out of the shower. Um, today was amazing. I got to catch up on a lot of work emails. Um, I went ahead and shampooed and conditioned my hair, and then now I'm going to go ahead and do a deep conditioner. My hair needs it um, after traveling in Seattle and such. I just feel like my hair needs some moisture, um, and I'm going to probably leave it overnight and then do a full wash day tomorrow morning. Also, the sun is setting, and I just wanted to show you guys. My skin has honestly never looked better. I have a few dark spots from scars where I picked pimples, of course. I am ashamed. Every time I'm about to do it, I'm like, don't do it, and then I do it, and then I regret it after. So hopefully I can continue this into the winter as my skin tends to get a bit drier. Um, so I will be moisturizing it hev heavily. So, yeah. After watching a lot of TikTok videos, I've been seeing a lot of good reviews on this brand and this specific deep conditioner that they have. Apparently it's really good for um, hair growth and just stimulating your scalp. It's infused with biotin and encourages growth. The smell is really nice. It smells exactly like rosemary. Um, I just want to give this a try and see if I see any difference with the length in my hair. But um, it's really, really moisturizing, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this into my hair. <laughs> Also focus on the ends and apply a little bit more there just because um, it's the oldest part of my hair. Mm -hmm. 